If your doctor's freaking out because your LDL is high or your ApoB is high, take a deep breath and relax because a brand new study just flipped the cholesterol script upside down. And no, this isn't clickbait. This is hard science, and we're going to talk about the science in this video. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician who also has high LDL cholesterol and high ApoB, and I'm not worried about it, and I'm about to explain to you why you probably shouldn't worry about it either. This might be the most important study ever done on the link between cholesterol and heart disease in lean, healthy people. It was just been published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology Advances. Uh, it, it, the study looked at 100 people who did something crazy. You may be doing this crazy thing too. They ate a ketogenic diet strictly for years. Loads of cholesterol in their diet. Loads of saturated fat in their diet. Their LDL was sky high. Their ApoB off the charts. But guess what didn't go up in this brand new study? Plaque in their arteries. Yeah, their plaque burden in their arteries did not increase despite having sky high LDL and ApoB levels. Now, let's be clear, these were not just average people walking the street. These were lean, metabolically healthy individuals with a very specific profile. They had an LDL-C of over 190. They had an ApoB through the roof, but they had high healthy HDL cholesterol. They had low triglycerides. They had low inflammation and normal insulin sensitivity. Now, if any of you guys have been doing a keto or a carnivore diet to reverse diabetes or other metabolic conditions, you know that eating a high-fat, low-carb diet will very often give some people this exact metabolic profile. They're called lean mass hyperresponders, and this study just proved that they do not fit the old rules at all. So the old rules, although it's called the lipid hypothesis, it's actually been changing for years. At first, the lipid hypothesis said, oh, don't eat high cholesterol foods. And then it said, oh, don't eat high saturated fat foods. And then it said, oh, if your total cholesterol is high, that's really dangerous. And then it said, oh, no, if your LDL cholesterol is really high, then that's really dangerous. And now it's saying, well, none of that other stuff really matters. But if your ApoB is really high, then you are in danger. So now this new study, one of the most rigorous one-year one trials ever done using high-resolution coronary CT angiography. So this is not CAC scores, CAC scans. These were CT angiograms, which looked for calcified plaque, uncalcified plaque, inflamed plaque, soft plaque, oxidized plaque, all plaque. It looks at total plaque burden. It doesn't look at LDL. It didn't look at ApoB. It looked at baseline plaque, and then these people continued to eat a very high-fat ketogenic diet, and they confirmed that they were in ketosis by checking their ketones for a full year. So they did a CT angiogram on 100 people. They ate high-fat keto, keto for a year, verified by checking their ketones routinely. Then they repeated the CT angiogram at the 12-month mark. So... One of the things they used in this study was Bayesian statistics, which is one of the most more honest ways uh, than just checking p-values. It gives you a much better idea that, yes, this is relevant, this is real, this is meaningful data. And they found it was six to, time, six to ten times more likely that ApoB had no impact whatsoever on plaque progression in this population. Yes. The LDL cholesterol and the ApoB levels, all of which were sky high in these people, had nothing to do with plaque progression. Just because their ApoB was high, that did not mean that their plaque burden got worse. Just because their LDL cholesterol was sky high had no effect whatsoever on plaque burden in their heart arteries. So now this study doesn't mean that cholesterol doesn't matter at all or cholesterol never matters at all. 
but it means the context absolutely matters. If you're lean, if you're metabolically healthy and your LDL went up on keto or your ApoB is sky high on keto, that's not a death sentence. In fact, it ha in this study, very well done study, high LDL cholesterol and high ApoB had absolutely nothing to do with depositing either hard calcified plaques or soft plaques in the arteries feeding your heart muscle. So what does this study teach us? Well, it teaches us first and foremost in this specific population that high LDL cholesterol and high ApoB on a low-carb diet in thin people who are metabolically healthy does not mean an increased risk of heart disease. Plaque builds up where there's already some plaque. That's the one thing this study did find, that if you had pre-existing plaque, you were more likely to develop more plaque along this uh, year-long study. No matter how high your LDL was, it didn't increase your plaque. No matter how high your ApoB was, it didn't increase your plaque. Only having pre-existing plaque was a risk factor for developing more plaque in your heart arteries. What this study allows you to do, if you're thin or getting thin and you're metabolically healthy or you're getting metabolically healthy and your LDL cholesterol or ApoB skyrocketed on a ketogenic or a carnivore diet, what this study allows you to do is to stop panicking, okay? This doesn't completely disprove ApoB as a meaningful risk factor for heart disease, but I think it's the first nail in the coffin and I think there are more nails soon to follow. But what it does say is if you're in this patient population, you can stop worrying about your high LDL cholesterol. You can stop worrying about your high ApoB. These things did not show an association with increased plaque buildup in the arteries feeding the heart muscle. I've included links to the research study and a couple of social media links down in the show notes below. If you know someone who has high LDL and they quit a ketogenic diet because of it, please share this video with them because they were actually improving their health even though their LDL went sky high. Uh, in a like manner, if you know someone whose ApoB skyrocketed while they were doing a ketogenic diet, they were actually getting healthier, but their ill-informed doctor scared them away from a proper human diet, a ketogenic diet, because their ApoB went up. Please share this video with them. They were on the way to saving their own life. By you sharing this video, you could help them reclaim that journey and live a long, healthy, productive, metabolically healthy, proper human life. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.